Today, we're gonna go over whether or not a stock Honda S2000 is fun to drive. Today we got a perfect, perfect day. Not a cloud in the sky. It's getting kind of warmer here in California. It's been a little bit cold these past couple months, but uh, I feel like it's starting to clear up a little bit. And uh, this is gonna be my S2000. This is gonna be a 2005 AP2, of course. Silverstone metallic colorway. And as you can see, it's pretty mint, honestly. I, I, I take care of this thing like it's my baby. And it pretty much is. Uh, now it's been quite a while since I've done a video on this car and uh, it's kind of funny because it's the reason I got the car as well to go and create more content um, but I definitely definitely am going to go ahead and start rolling out more content on this car because I have this car every day I have it at my dispose I can make any video I want um, when I did pick up this car it did have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires which I highly highly recommend um, but when they started going bald on me I had to get a replacement and obviously I didn't want to pay that much for a tire so I went with a, a brand that one of my friends recommended me. Shout out to Jerry. We got the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s. Great, great wheel. Um, I definitely recommend this, especially for the price point. They definitely um, perform. Um, you know what sucks about today? It's a little windy. So that's why I have the top up. Usually I have the top down whenever I do my reviews or I do videos. Or even when I just drive in general, but the wind is too much. Let's go and give it up for a drive. slightly all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go over uh, a few of the little things that has happened to me over the course of a year of owning this Honda s2000 so um, flashback to 2020 December 2020 I was looking for the Honda s2000 every single day it was finally time to go ahead and pull the trigger on one and I was looking for one and I happened to stumble across this one on Facebook marketplace nearby um, if you're not familiar with the area I live in I'm in Orange County so this was actually located in Irvine met up with the person on December 28th of 2020 made it happen January 1st of 2021 so I started off the new year right so it being January 17th today um, 2022 it's been a little bit more than a year so I kind of have an idea of what it's like um, to live with a stock S2000 now again this car is so lightweight that the wind is pushing it around a little bit I could kind of feel it um, I kind of have to muscle my way against the, the wind but hey we got a sports car a lightweight sports car so it's kind of expected All right, so first issue that happened with me was a month into owning this car. This doesn't have anything to do with uh, the car, but it's just the window regulator broke on me on the right passenger side. And I'm just explaining this to you guys because I want you guys to know what you're, what you're walking yourself into when uh, purchasing a car like this. So window regulator broke on me. I thought it'd be a quick fix, you know, get a new regulator or whatever. I actually had to get it from the Honda dealership and it cost $800. $800 for that. That was a little taste of the S2000 uh, main maintenance life. Fast forward to August after seven months of owning this car. The clutch went out on me. It started slipping gears. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure it was my fault, you know? This being my first manual manual car. I know how to drive manual before, but this being my actual car and I would drive it daily, um, I'm pretty sure I'm the reason it, it started slipping gears. I had to get it replaced. That cost like $1,800. So I kind of had to force myself to learn how to rev match because I wasn't rev matching. And if you look at my previous POVs, I wouldn't even rev match. I had to definitely, definitely learn. Nice Mustang coming up on us. So again, back to the topic of the discussion, is a stock Honda S2000 fun to drive? 
and I would say 100% yes without a doubt. This came out of factory with pretty much everything you need. Uh, you got the perfect formula for the sports car. We got lightweight, rear wheel drive, screams all the way to almost 9,000 RPMs. This being the AP2, I believe it goes up to like 8,300 RPMs, but that's, that's perfect, honestly. What else? Two-seater, 50-50, near 50-50 weight distribution. And uh, honestly, one of the best gearboxes I've ever handled. It's so satisfying to go ahead and shift gears in this. And the car is so raw that you feel literally every bump, you feel the road. Um, you'll never catch me falling asleep behind the wheel on this thing, and that's what I love about it. Some other cars I drive, I'm falling asleep behind the wheel, but this one, so loud and everything's vibrating, everything's so lively that I am very attentive. And I love that. Now I do push this car quite heavily. Um, you always catch me here in the canyons driving uh, very, very spiritedly. And now I don't push it, push it too hard just because I'm still learning the limits of this car, but pushed it to my limit and I could say without a doubt it's a very confident inspiring type of car um, even stock stock it's making around 245 horsepower and that's plenty for the for the car that this is it came out the box like I said with plenty of power plenty of everything that you need and that being said this car is able to go ahead and make more power and it's pretty common for people to modify it and um, I hope to do so in the near future just because I went a whole year of it being stock. I'm kind of tired of looking at it um, with the same bells and whistles that it has, you know? Um, been looking to get an exhaust. I definitely want to make it louder. It is pretty loud as you can hear, but for some reason I want to make it louder. I want to have a loudest 2000 like anyone does, you know? So um, I'm looking into getting an exhaust in the next couple weeks. I'm looking into getting the HKS high power, either the single exit or the dual exit. I'm not too sure because as much as I want a single exit exhaust, I feel like it'll look awkward because the rear bumper has the dual cutouts, you know? So if I get the dual exit, it'll look fine, it'll look good. But the single exit is calling my name. I mean, if you guys are watching this video and you guys have an S2000 and you guys have an exhaust setup that you recommend to me, definitely. Um, comment down in the video below. Dang, this wind is pushing me. Yep, it's pushing me. I gotta be careful here. Oh, but I also do want to mention, I am this, this close in the next couple of days to just going to my nearby muffler shop. Not getting a muffler delete, not deleting anything, but I'm gonna get what's known as the UK mod, which is really, really popular in the Honda S2000 community. Um, if you guys are familiar with the UK mod, definitely Share your thoughts. I'm really intrigued about what that is. And uh, to some people, actually to most people, it's probably the best thing you could do to the exhaust. And it's much cheaper too, which I'm not opposed to at all. Um, I wanna talk about handling this car. This thing handles like a drain. I'm always zipping in and out of, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, bro. I'm always zipping just like that and very agile. I could turn at the blink of an eye. I could zip through highway um, traffic. This thing is pretty much a go-kart on steroids. Um, I love that about it. You could turn on a dime and it's very satisfying to go ahead and hit a turn such as a canyon turn at a really high speed and just look at the rear view mirror and just notice that the car behind you is gone in the dust. That's really, really satisfying to me. One of my favorite things about this car is definitely the attention it gets. When I have the top down, which is usually almost all the time, everyone looks at this car. Um, if you know what it is, you know how special it is, so I get that type of attention. But there's also the people that don't know what it is and they asked me, yo, what kind of car is that? I've never seen that before. And they're really surprised when I say it's a Honda. It's an S2000. 
and I do take this car to the car meets frequently. Uh, I've been going to the car meet every night, I would say, for the past two months. And uh, I always find myself being the only Honda S2000. So I love that it's really, really, I wouldn't say rare, but very, very uncommon to see these cars out and about. You know what? Now that I'm on the topic of where I talked about, I think I'm gonna do a separate video on a review of the Indy Firestone Indy, what am I saying? The Firestone Indy 500s. Cause they're a really, really great tire and I wanna give you guys a full in-depth review of my thoughts. <coughs> <coughs> so I hope this gives you a little indication of whether or not the Honda S2000 is a little bit of a fun car to drive. Of course it's going to be fun, um, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts of my experiences with this car. And uh, I've been dailying this car for about a year. At first it was a little rough just because it has two seats only, but um, honestly, for what you sacrifice, you definitely gain in smiles and happiness. I love this car so much, and um, I can't wait to see what I do with it. Yeah, this thing is definitely no slouch too. I'll see you guys in the next video.